Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? It is day seven of RPG a Day 2021. And the word that I chose for today was inspire. You know, when I was a kid, I would read comic books or books or, you know, watch something on TV or movies and I would get inspired by these stories. I would read tales of explorers and paleontologists and entomologists and, and guys that went out in the jungle and, and, you know, watched howler monkeys and all this kind of stuff or World War I flying aces. I would get inspired. I wanted to be somebody in those situations, whether they were fictional situations or sometimes even the real situations, you know, they without all the troublesome real life stuff. Uh, that really inspired me. And role-playing games gave me this opportunity to indulge that inspiration that I really had uh, had not anticipated as a child. I'd ever be able to do something like that until they came along or until I discovered them in 1981. And that was awesome. And I still get inspired by fiction to this day and start to think, huh, what would that be like? I wonder what it would be like to be there. I wonder if there's a role-playing game that could do that. And, you know... I also get very inspired by a premise. I've talked about this an awful lot, but I, I hear some kind of premise, some kind of idea, and maybe it's for a role-playing game, maybe it's just for a uh, science fiction you know, novel or, or just some, an idea that we're pitching uh, back and forth or thinking about, and I start to think about, man, that would be really kind of cool. Uh, you know, I remember getting, you know, hearing uh, Robert the Narrator talk about Eclipse Phase and just the whole transhumanism thing. And instantly, you know, I was no longer listening. I was listening, but I was like, wow, that would be really interesting uh, and really cool. And that's why I examined that game. Um, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for a premise. I instantly start to think, man, that would be really neat. I wonder what that would be like, you know, and the gears start turning. Um, I also get very inspired sometimes just by, um, you know, reading the setting in an RPG. And I start to get that those same kind of gears turning. That'd be really cool. I wonder what this, you know, the, the more the more that gets described, or the more that I read, the more that I hear other people talk about, it, the more I get inspired. Sometimes to think, ah, I wonder what that would be really like. I also get inspired by the mechanics themselves. Sometimes I read about a mechanic or or a procedure, or I hear about one, and instantly, you know, my gears are you know turning. You know, when Anthony talked about Broken Compass. And he started talking about this idea that you're using D6s and you're looking for pairs or three of a kind or whatever. I'm thinking, Yahtzee? Wow, I wonder what the probabilities like that would be. I wonder how, what that would feel like. And boom, I'm off to the races. i got to check this game out. You know, there were other parts of the game that inspired me. And it's a great game. But the hook initially was that mechanic. And I see other mechanics that, um, you know, come up and I get inspired by those. I mean, you know, heck, I'm, I'm originally an OSR guy. So all those little tinkerings that we did, you know, I, I see something. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Um, and sometimes I encounter problems or get ideas or think about what would this, you know, this dice probability do or, the, you know, rolling D12s or two D12s. Or, and I start to think about, I wonder what that would, that would feel like. And, you know, I start to get inspired to create a game or at least tinker with the old ones or just think about, hmm, well, I'll put this on the shelf, but one day I might, might use something like this because that's really kind of cool. Maybe I should write a game. Uh, then we sit around in the session zero itself. You know, and I start to get inspired by the other players, what they start to say, what the, you know, the pitches they start to have, like what they want to see in the game, the characters that we start to bring to the table. And, you know, this person creates this character. This is what I think they're like. And, and as that happens, uh, which is one of the reasons I like creating characters together or starting to talk about it and then say, who's going to, you know, who's going to do what? Uh, maybe with the game master pitches, I start to get very inspired that way. Uh, I get, you know, I've got inspired as a game master, watch people bring their characters to the session zero, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be, this is interesting, you know, not the, you know, and and what, you know, how is this all going to fit together? And really getting excited and inspired for the the sessions, um, and so we start to feed off each other. Then, even before the games actually started, and then, you know, when play actually starts, you know, I find the other players very inspiring. You know, just you know how they play. Um, you know, how the, what the Game Master brings. It doesn't matter what side of the metaphorical screen I am on. Uh, the interactions between all of us as players, you know, um, the, the cool stuff they do, the unexpected stuff that we do. Uh, I start to get inspired by the characters themselves, you know. And sometimes they take on a life of their own uh, and become somewhat independent of any of us, even the people that are playing them. And, you know, that's, that's, that's always really cool. And you start to discover your own character based on these other characters that are emerging. And these, all these, you know, all these emergent characters, emergent, you know, and emergent NPCs, where you really start to see what they're like. And the emergent fiction, what starts to, um, what we start to find out. I, I hate to use the word created because that implies intentionality. And if you want to do that, that's fine as well. Or, um, but sometimes it's like, whoa, this, wow, where did this come from? And as that all shows up, that becomes very inspiring. 
uh, to me. So it just it kind of kind of feeds on itself at that point, it takes on this real life of its own. And then we talked about you know games afterwards. You know sometimes those events in play are so inspiring that it ins- inspires us to talk about it afterwards. And to me, that's been a really important part of the culture of play in, in my own group, where we make like reflections videos and, and talk about the experience, what it was like. Um, and sometimes just those discussions afterwards uh, are quite inspiring when you hear what other people had to say and you're like, oh, that's, that's interesting. I didn't know they had that perspective. And, you know, also just when we're talking about games themselves, about procedures, about mechanics, about techniques, about, um, you know, what, what games are out there, you know, the, the, uh, the bigger picture about role-playing games, the, the theories, the, uh, you know, our observations about them. You know, reading uh, in fits and starts, but reading um, the um, the elusive shift, a great book, and, and that's just very inspiring. Where you start to see that people were talking about this, you know, way back in the day. This is nothing new. You know, we didn't make this up. The people before us didn't make this up. It was way, way back in the in the, you know early '70s and even prior to role playing playing games really being role playing games. Really, really cool stuff. So you know, the whole thing, you know, uh, you know, games, uh, game sessions, they beget more game sessions, you know, new games, we get more new games, discussing role-playing games, you know, begets more discussing role-playing games, uh, it just kind of fuels, you know, and, and keeps, keeps things going, and it's like a chain reaction, and, you know, so there's just a lot of things about this hobby, and what, the, the things that surround this hobby that inspire me, you know, the friendships, the, the dynamics at the table, the fiction, the idea, the premises, um, the exploration we get to do, uh, not only in the uh, the fictional worlds, but in just the, the deeper exploration that happens in games. Uh, the st- stuff that, that happens, the stuff, things that we do. Really, really cool stuff. And brings me back again and again. Excited to play again. Take it easy, kids.